thousand damn bitches gon' pop it. Mm, she make it clap. I got the strap. Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'll show you how to make the bob dancing dude trend that we see on Instagram every day. It's super easy, and in this video's description I've included the bob dancing green screen footage so you can download it and make your own trend too. Let's get started. Before we drop bob into the timeline, it's important to stabilize and lock on your clip for a smoother result. To stabilize the video, make sure you're at the beginning of your clip, then under the tracker panel click stabilize motion. Zoom into your clip so you can see the car clearly, in my case I'm going to lock onto the car's headlight. Drag the track point onto the headlight and make the outer box slightly larger for a more accurate track. For even better analyzing, click options, make sure RGB is selected, and enable adapt feature on every frame, then hit OK. Now click analyze forward and wait for it to finish. Once it's done, click apply, hit OK, and close the tracking window. Next fix the black edges, press S on your keyboard and scale the video up until the edges disappear. After that, it's important to make the video perfectly centered. To center it 100% accurately, enable the proportional grid, then simply drag the clip until the headlight sits exactly in the center. Now the stabilization part is complete, and we're ready to make Bob dance. Before that, make sure to pre-compose your clip, rename it if needed, make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected, and hit OK. Turn off the proportional grid, and now let's 3D track the footage by clicking track camera. Once the analysis is complete, right click and select create solid and camera where you want Bob to stand in your scene. Drag and drop the Bob green screen footage into the timeline. To remove the green screen, apply Keel Eyed Effect. Grab the screen color eyedropper, and select the green background. Next enable 3D on the Bob layer. To lock him into the scene, select the track solid layer, press P to reveal the position, copy it, then select Bob and paste the position onto him. Now adjust the scale and position until Bob sits perfectly in the scene. Once you're happy, disable the track solid layer since we don't need it anymore. Let's preview the result. Everything looks perfect and Bob is tracked 100% accurately. Now we can add a shadow to make the look even more realistic. Duplicate the Bob layer, select the bottom one, and rename it to shadow just to stay organized. Move the Y position down, and adjust the X rotation until the layer sits on the ground. Tweak the X and Y position until the shadow lines up with Bob. Once it looks good, apply Fill and Gaussian Blur to the shadow layer. Under Fill, change the color to black. Set the opacity to around 50%. Then under Gaussian Blur, increase the blurriness to around 100 to soften the shadow. And that's it. Let's preview the final result. Everything looks clean, tracked, and ready for the trend. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.